I play with Brennan a ton, and this year he's been crushing his driver like 30 yards past me, and I'm sick of it. So I asked if he could bring in some LA golf shafts and help me gain the distance that I need to keep up with him. Oh, only 30 yards past you? Hmm. Okay, Cole. So the driver that you're hitting confirm it's the new Cobra Rad Speed. New Cobra Rad Speed, nine degree head, yeah. And did you get fit for it? Absolutely not. You didn't, so you kind of walked into the golf store, found something that you like, picked it up and good to go. That's right, yeah, absolutely. So what we'll do just for this video, we'll get an idea of how you're hitting it right now with kind of a stock shaft, and then we'll get our fitter, Jeff, to help uh, see which LA golf shaft's best for your game. Sounds so why don't you go ahead and hit a couple and we can get an idea of kind of your shot shape. Sure. What would be your normal shot shape, you think? Uh, right now it's a little bit of a cut, but I'm used to playing a draw, so okay. kind of a You'll cut draw. <laughs> let, let, yeah, let's see how you're hitting it. That was pretty solid, dude. That was a big, uh, a big hit. Our viewers might not be able to tell we are at a pretty, uh, we're hitting at an uphill, so we're all getting almost all carry. Um, what do you hit two more, and then sure. uh, we'll start throwing different shafts in there. Colby, what would you say is your miss? Uh, it's definitely the low duck hook. Yeah, it just kills my round. Okay, yeah. we'll hit a couple more. Let's see how this uh, how this shaft works. So that one had a bit more flair to it. That first one's obviously tighter. Yeah. Um, would you say you miss some more to the left now that you're hitting a cut? I. That's the thing. It's kind of all over the map. There's like no consistency. On days it's good, on days it's bad. The two-way miss, I've been yeah. there. When there's days on the course, you don't know where it's going. The last thing you want to do is lose confidence with your driver. That's Go ahead, hit one more, and then we'll throw a new shaft in. That one ended almost just right at your target. I think because the last one flared, you're almost overcompensating and starting it to the right, knowing it's coming back. Sounds like That's cool. fair. Yep. Okay, so what we'll do, we've got our club fitter, Jeff, to throw a new shaft in there. We have the low launch, the mid launch, and the high launch. We might as well hit all three and just see if we get better comparable numbers on that driver head. Excited to do it. All right, let's hook it up. Okay guys, before you get out of here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can get notified when we post a new video. We're really good. Uh, spin was down as it is, and uh, we're getting some good yardage out of it. We'll see what happens. We can straighten it out a little bit, maybe. Uh, the last two, the spin rate creeped up a little bit. I'd like to see that just a little bit lower, maybe around 23, 2400. Um, yeah, otherwise it was good. Uh, lower in those spin numbers, we'll get a little more total distance out of it. Carry was pretty consistent throughout all three, but... Fine with more distance. There you go, Colby, give that yes, one a sir. shot. Okay, Colby, we've put the uh, Tour AXS Blue, the LAGP shaft in it. So far, looking at it, it's obviously a black shaft. Do you notice anything different in the feel or even just looking at it? Uh, just giving it a waggle test, it's definitely a little lighter on that tip section, I'm not sure. Okay. Way, way different than that. Well, let's we'll see what the numbers say. Why don't you hit a couple, we'll see how this goes. First swing shouldn't count. You, sh you get a couple tries in it to get some real numbers. That one was a little bit, uh, yeah, timing issue. The shaft so far has a similar, if not more, flair than your stock shaft. It seems like, for sure. How does it feel just through impact? I'm kind of having a hard time timing it up. Okay. It almost feels like it's not my foot squaring through impact. That's fair. Hit one more and then we can throw another one in there. Well, that one was definitely your best one yet. I assume you'd take that one every time. Absolutely. It's just getting that consistency down. Yeah. Okay, Jeff, looking at the numbers, what do you notice in these new numbers versus the stock shaft? I actually like the old shaft better. Um, we noticed that the launch angle kind of crept up. 
Uh, we also saw the spin rate come up, so he actually lost some distance. Uh, the first couple had a little more tail on it, so definitely more spin than we like. Uh, the last one was definitely your best and the spin came down, but his old shaft was definitely lower spinning, so. Fair enough, well that's why we have options. So why don't we throw a new LA Golf shaft in there and then see if we get better numbers. Yeah, definitely, Sounds good. let's do it. Okay, Cole, now we got the LAGP Tour AXS Red in. Um, because we have all three options, we might as well hit all three. So why don't we hit this one and see how it compares. Well, you're consistent with all three shafts, more or less, right? Yeah. It's, it's interesting to see how much uh, a club makes a difference versus even just like your natural swing. I think almost everyone has some shape onto their ball. And I think it's just about controlling that shape, right? Just narrowing that dispersion. Right. How did that one feel off the face compared to the last shaft? This one, I felt like it could time a little bit better than the other one. Okay, sure. well, let's do a couple more hits. a little bit to the left. We should let the viewers know too that it's a pretty windy day. It's gotta be at least 20 kilometer an hour winds and they are all going in the direction of your ball. And you can see the trees in the distance, all the leaves are blowing that way. So we're almost fighting the wind, I guess sometimes, and Jeff could attest that when you're fitting in controlled conditions, it's a little different than fitting in the wind, if that's fair. I like the built-in excuse yeah. too. Well, you gotta, you gotta look at your surroundings and, and make excuses. But no, it's true that the wind is blowing that way, so it'd be interesting if we had a different wind. Put one more, put one more swing on that you're happy with. That was hammered. Did that feel like the best one? Yes. Okay, well why don't we consult with our fitter, Jeff, and see how those numbers compare. Yeah, I like the shaft a little better for you, Colby. We saw the launch angle on the first one, went up a little bit, but your spin rate came way down. So we actually got a little more carry and a lot more total. Uh, the middle two were kind of iffy, a little more wind I think picked up there, and, but the last one was also pretty good. We got a little lower launch, but because our spin rate was down so much, we got a little more total distance. It's like the ball speed kept up a little bit too. Yeah, the last one you weren't, you weren't quite as fast as this one, so I like this one a little better. So far, since the initial shaft and the first two, would this be the best option, or how does it compare, do you think, to his original shaft? I'd say this one's pretty close to his original. Uh, it might be a little bit better. His first one was definitely the furthest of the day. Awesome. So, okay. Well, we got one more shaft, so why don't we hook that up and we'll see how the last one compares. Okay, Colby, last shaft. Any difference in feel or look looking at the Tour AXS white? Uh, this one kind of feels similar to the last one, red. Yeah. I don't feel a whole lot of difference. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's hit it and see what, uh, what kind of results we can get. I'd take that one. So far, so good. You knew right away, as soon as you hit that, you're like, yeah, that feels better. Yeah. That was the feeling that I had when I got fit for my LAGP shafts. I knew in the first one. So I'm hoping that these next ones <laughs> are similar. Are similar. It's okay, we can edit that one out, Colby. <laughs> Found to edit a couple. Hello. Almost turned that one over a little bit. How'd that feel off the face? Yeah, that's just as good as the first one did. Perfect. That one moved a little bit, but not nearly as much, I don't think, as some of those, uh, the, the first couple. Uh, Club head speed? You really wanted that one. Yeah. 
That was the long drive ball. I should go after it. This shaft has been the first time you've been right up your line. Do you think that's because you've been compensating earlier hitting, trying to start it further right on line? I would think so. I would think that's exactly right. So let's hit a couple more. I think I think we've had some of your best hits yet, and then we'll bring in Jeff shortly just to compare the numbers. All right, let's compare numbers with our fitter, Jeff. Jeff, what do we see out of uh, the last LAGP shaft? Uh, his club speed jumped up a little bit on this one. Uh, I don't know if you just got a little, a little cold and wanted to swing a little faster, but uh, we had some more club speed. Uh, we did get a little more launch angle out of this. Um, and on average, the spin was still a little bit high. Yeah. Uh, I like the middle shaft the best. It had the lowest spin, uh, best total, best ball speed. Do we want to put the red shaft back in, if that's what Jeff's saying is the best for your game? Let's put it in Absolutely. one more time, because I know you were really happy with a couple of these hits. That first one was probably one of your best of the day, yep. but you're getting warmed up. You've been hitting a ton of drivers, right? Let's throw the red in just to compare that uh, you feel what Jeff is seeing in the numbers. Okay. okay, cool. We put the red back in and we adjusted the setting. We're almost compensating a little bit for the wind because as we know, a lot of balls are going to the left, which is where the wind's blowing. Jeff has adjusted it to a draw setting with the red shaft, which got you the best numbers. Let's hit a couple and see kind of what the results are. How did that feel first one compared to the last first one? I think this one's just a little bit more familiar because it feels very much like the smoke I have in my driver right now. I think it's maybe just the timing. Sure. We, we haven't had the low hook yet that you were talking about, right? That's true. That was great. That's a great That's the perfect one. In my opinion, would you take that Yeah, I'd take that shape. Of course, I'll do it. So, so far in hitting, you've hit all the three LAGP shafts. Uh, are you confident in the red shaft? I would say out of the three, the red shaft feels the best. Now the moment of truth, the big question. And we might have to, we'll, we'll bring Jeff, Jeff in to answer after the fact. We'll ask you first, is it better than the shaft that you have in your club? I don't know as if I see enough difference in it, but I mean, um, it's a familiarity thing for sure. That's fair. No, that's totally fair. You've had hundreds of hits, I'm sure, with the other Absolutely. shaft. Now to put something in is, is different and unfamiliar. Let's bring Jeff in. So Jeff, Colby hit the number, or the shaft that you recommended. Yep. Again, based on the numbers. Yep, Are absolutely. our numbers still confirming that this was the best LAGP shaft for him? It is, yeah. Um, we slowed down a little bit on the club speed, which maybe helped you hit the center a little easier, but spin rate's way down, which is resulting in really good distance. Uh, launch angle's in a perfect spot. Uh, I like the shaft the best of the three. As Colby mentioned, maybe not the best between his and his old one and this one, but this would be the one I'd go with if he was gonna change. So as a fitter, would you take him out of his stock shaft and put him into this shaft? I'd probably want to see some more data before we do anything like that, but um, definitely a recommendation for, for something new. And that's, I think the whole purpose of this video is to show that LA Golf kind of has a shaft for everyone, right? Absolutely. Kind of the shaft that we thought Colby would hit the best didn't end up being the best shaft for him. And that's why you have to hit these things. It's one thing to scroll on the internet and say, oh yeah, I swing this speed and I want this shape, but then you got to hit it, right? So it's been really cool uh, just seeing the results that Colby's been getting and then having the numbers to back it up. 100%. Okay. So maybe one note uh, to make is that this is a 50 gram shaft. Colby's original shaft is a 60 gram. I'd love to see him hit this shaft in a 60 gram to have a better comparison. The red that was the best for him. Absolutely. So what we saw with the, his stock shaft uh, he had good club head speed, uh, which correlated into some really good ball speed. 
And what I noticed with this shaft is his club speed dropped a bit, but the ball speed stayed the same. So if he can get used to this shaft a little more, get his club speed back up, we would think that the ball speed would go up correlation. And I could tell Colby even just watching you when you hit the perfect drive. None of us are professionals, right? right. When you connected on the screws, they were flying as good or as anyone that we've ever played with, right? So I think LA Golf does make really good shafts. We'll have to play around. Maybe we can get you a 60 gram to see if that compares even to your stock shaft. But overall, how would you rate your experience at hitting these? Yeah, I mean, it's encouraging. I think uh, this, this uh, the red golf shaft here, would, um, if we had it in the 60 degree or a 60 gram shaft, it would be uh, a little bit better. You would be confident though, taking this out on the course and playing around. Yeah, judging by what I saw today, I mean, I wasn't uh, losing balls too, too far left. That's fair. Well, guys, I really appreciate you being a part of this video. Uh, make sure you check out Modern Golf. So, Jeff, uh, Modern Golf, where's all your locations? Absolutely. So, yeah, we're here in Calgary. We're also two out in Ontario and one out in Vancouver. Perfect. Well, guys, thanks again for doing this. Colby, looking forward to awesome. seeing you hit some more bombs on the golf course. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll check in with you next time.